Hello, I'm Dr. Carolyn Harper. I'm the Director of Public Health for Northern Ireland. And smoking really is the single most preventable cause of death in Northern Ireland. Worldwide, there are something like 1 billion smokers and here, around 340,000 adults smoke. Smoking kills about half of smokers. And each year in Northern Ireland, there are around 2,400 deaths per year that are smoking related, mainly from conditions like cancer, heart disease, asthma, bronchitis, but also other conditions like stroke. And smoking therefore has a major impact, not just on the health of people here, but also on the economy, because we lose around 1 million working days uh, each year through smoking related illness. The typical smoker will lose around 10, perhaps 15 years of life compared to a non-smoker. And while our smoking rates have decreased here, we're certainly um, still got a long way to go compared to the likes of Australia, where smoking rates are around 19% compared to the 24% here, and in California, where they're down as low as 13%. But the good news is that if you stop smoking, you'll feel the benefits almost immediately, certainly in terms of your breathing, uh, your overall health and energy levels, and after a year, your risk of having a heart attack is reduced by as much as 50%. So that's good news and every reason for people to continue to try to stop smoking. Smoking is thought to account for about a half or 50% of the life expectancy gap between those who live in more deprived areas and those who live in most affluent areas in Northern Ireland. That really reflects the smoking habits uh, in those areas. Uh, smoking rates in South Down, for example, are around 13% compared to North and West Belfast, where 38% of people smoke. So really, if we want to close that gap, it's important that we help people to stop smoking. Smoking is also an expensive habit. Uh, if you're smoking 20 a day, that equates to about £2,000 a year. And over a 40-year period, a lifetime of smoking is about £80,000. And that's really enough almost to buy a house, certainly enough each year to uh, pay for some of the things that we like, like a, a good family holiday, for example. So there's significant financial benefits to um, an individual and their family if they successfully stop smoking. If you smoke during pregnancy, you're certainly more likely to have a miscarriage. You may even have a stillborn baby and your baby is more likely to need intensive care after it's born. And if you smoke around your children, uh, they're more likely to have chest problems like asthma, ear, nose and throat problems. And tragically, we see um, in instances of sudden infant death, cot death, around a quarter of those are in children who have been exposed to secondhand smoke from parents and adults. There are three main parts to our approach to reducing smoking rates in Northern Ireland. Firstly, through legislation and enforcement of legislation. Secondly, making people aware of the dangers of smoking and also the benefits of stopping. And thirdly, uh, providing direct support to help people to stop. In terms of legislation, the main developments were in 2007, where we introduced legislation to ban smoking in public places. In 2008, the age at which you can legally buy tobacco was increased from 16 to 18. And we're very much supporting the proposed legislation to also ban vending machines and to remove tobacco from display. And that's all about creating a climate where non-smoking, not smoking, becomes the norm. I would also very much support legislation to ban smoking in cars. Cars are a small space and the levels of uh, smoke gather and increase very quickly. South Africa and Canada have already introduced that type of legislation. Australia and the United States are looking at it and I firmly believe we should also introduce that legislation here. So to make people aware of the dangers and uh, also the benefits of stopping smoking, we're running our new public information campaign. It was developed with smokers and has two main messages. Firstly, warning about the dangers and risks from smoking, but also giving the message to smokers to never give up on giving up. Many smokers try many times before they quit successfully, and that's our key message uh, from that campaign. We also provide support to people to stop smoking. We have around 600 providers across Northern Ireland, mainly GPs, chemists, community centres and workplaces who provide advice and support to people who want to stop. Last year, 24,000 people attended those services. That's very encouraging and was a 10% increase 
on the year before. Around half of those people stopped successfully and were very encouraged by those rates and would again repeat the message to people, never give up on giving up. What works for some people may not work for others, but you can go to our website or to the Smokers Helpline to get more information and advice and support. And you can also order the Quit Kit through either the website or the helpline. A priority for us in the upcoming year is to expand our support to uh, areas where smoking rates are higher, to pregnant women through antenatal classes and services, uh, to manual workers through workplaces, and to young people through uh, colleges, further education and so on. Smoking rates in Northern Ireland have decreased significantly over the last 10 years. Yes, we have further to go and we'll continue to work with our partners to make sure that we reduce smoking rates as low as possible to the benefit and, and health of individuals and also the economy in Northern Ireland.